Hey guys, I'm Sydney. And I'm Zach. And you're watching the Midnight Chambree. So it's Friday, we got our coffee, and as per usual, we're going Halloween shopping. And we, there's a spirit here with a big flashing open sign. And there's a Ross, there's Cost Plus, there's, there's Pier everything. One. Pier 1 is here. It's like a party. It's like Coachella for Halloween shopping. Everybody's here. Even, Everybody. Even Dollar Tree is showing up, which, you know, that's whatever. But yeah, <laughs> there is so much stuff here, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's whatever. I, I think every store is kind of whatever until you go into there and you kind of see. Which I'm honestly kind of like excited for Pier 1. Normally, that's not a store that we really kind of shop at, but I was looking online and they have some really awesome stuff this year. Yeah, I'm excited. So. You can go to Potato Barn, too. I bet they have. A bunch of stuff. Do you have Halloween potatoes? <laughs> Halloween potatoes. Halotatoes. Halotatoes. So, we're going to go check these places out. I'm excited. I'm very excited. So, we will bring you guys along and uh, see what kind of spooky mischief we can get into. pretty early in the season yeah. for them and they had tons of coming soon signs mm -hmm. but the hocus pocus stuff they had a lot of great stuff for that i mean yeah. that's something i've always wanted to dress up as and it's always been for my entire life you had to make a costume mm -hmm. so now they have these amazing costumes not the like most theatrical quality but still, still really nice for a costume directly from spirit mm -hmm. lots of accessories they had rings they had chokers they had wigs they had everything that you could think of to yeah. dress up as the sanderson sisters and i fell in love. No Max Dennison costumes though, so I can't be a little eager, unfortunately. Well, you know, I, I don't have the Yabos to be Allison, so. What's that you call them? Yabos? Max loves your Yabos. But they did have a Billy Butcherson mask. They did. So that was, that pretty was pretty cool. cool. But they didn't have anything else to go with that, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's just they don't have it yet or what, but I don't know, and that Stranger Things board was pretty cool, but apparently she got asked to stop filming in there, so. I wasn't sneaky sneaky enough. Sorry, spirit.
we don't normally go to Pier 1 because most of the time they don't have Every anything year, or they don't just... have anything that we like. And this year was like, I want that, I want that, I want that. I think I mentally spent at least $300 mm -hmm. and that was just on like a floor mat and a bunch of candle holders and candles. But that place is awesome though. We're going to buy a lot of stuff there this year. <laughs> Plus, they unfortunately did not have anything. They had cards. They had a lot of cards. Yeah, they had greeting cards, but I don't feel like that's as much as I normally have around this point. It's kind of subjective. I mean, year after year, you can't always have the same kind of date. I mean, I know True. at home is really good. They're like the 1st of July. Mm -hmm. Pretty close to the 1st of July, they're always having their Halloween stuff. So mm -hmm. it's just, I mean, it's whenever it really takes. I mean, that's yeah. kind of... It's still not even September yet. Not true. I'm not worried about not finding anything. No, 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 I'm not either. I mean, it's not about, it, it's just more about when you go mm -hmm. and when you look and what you find. So, I mean, it's kind of how that one goes. But to make up for it, we did find a lot of really cool stuff at Target. So yeah, Target had some stuff and so did Dollar Tree. Yeah, and There was I mean, a lot of interesting stuff at those two places. And I mean, it's just, it's nice to go to a shopping center where you're essentially on Halloween Row. I mean, you get mm -hmm. to go store to store to store to store to store and just see so much different stuff and nobody at least you know in my opinion no one's having the same exact stuff this year no as another store i mean obviously there's a few things here and there i mean that carry over yeah i'll say mainly at home in ross and marshall's and like places like that are sharing some stuff but most of the places are pretty individualized so. i think it's just because they're the same type of store they're all yeah. kind of like a not consignment but kind of like a Hey, this didn't sell at this mm -hmm. big box store. That's Let's send it over it here. So it's it's kind of one of those things where you're going to expect to find those things. Target didn't necessarily have everything yet. They oh, only no. had their dollar spot stuff. But what they had in the dollar spot was really nice mm -hmm. compared to the stuff they normally have. And their stuff will be up, I have no doubt, probably by the end of the week. So If you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen that they had the entire seasonal section completely wiped out with signs saying coming soon. We did post that last night. Um, but by the time we were done with, which, which store was it? By the time we were Target. done with Cost Plus, it was already so dark outside we couldn't oh, yeah. keep doing updates. And by the time we were done at Target, we had gone grocery shopping. And it was the end of the day. We needed <laughs> to get home. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed everything you saw. Definitely leave a comment down below and let us know what your favorite places that we stopped during this and what your favorite things that you saw. I think my favorite was definitely the Hocus Pocus stuff at Spirit. That was fantastic i'm going with pier one i really am i think everything that i saw at pier one 
was the aesthetic of Halloween that I like. I'm not the guy that's like, oh, I don't like those like spooky stuff. I don't like too much. Like, you throw a jack lantern face on something <laughs> and it's creative looking. I'm all in for that. Yeah, so, especially like that bat door bat. Yeah, that was really cool. So I think that Pier One kind of. I don't want to say it is winning Halloween for me so far yet this year, but there's more stuff I want to buy at Pier 1 than anywhere else that we've been, except maybe at home. I will say that they were definitely the most surprising. Yeah, because the past years we've looked at things, they always have stuff. We're mm -hmm. not saying they don't or anything like that, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's never been anything that I'm blown away by. Mm -hmm. It's never anything that I'm like, oh, you know, that's astounding. It's just like, that's nice. Everywhere else has something like comparable to it but a little bit better mm -hmm. so that's kind of the thing I'm really glad Pier 1 has kind of surprised me and I'm going to go back and buy some stuff there's some really yeah. awesome stuff I mean there was a pillow that we saw at Ross that we really liked but I was like I know I've seen something like this somewhere where mm -hmm. it's actually embroidered and it was at Pier 1 um, just some really cool garden decorations their candles were yeah. some amazing scents they had one that was supposed to be s'mores but it smelled like the uh burnt marshmallow Crayola marker from the 90s. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't smell as much like the recent one, but I'm talking about... I like, thought it was like just like fireside treat or something like that. Like it was supposed to smell like toasted marshmallows. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to smell like a s'mores. Mm -hmm. But it smelled like the burnt marshmallow Crayola marker from the 90s. Like I said, it's not the new one, but the one from the 90s. Because in my awesome. brain stem, they smell different. They do. They really do. Because I actually have some of the newer ones and there is a slight difference in it. it. The new one doesn't smell as burnt, but... I wonder how, like, kept one of those could be from the 90s. Can you keep a marker from the 90s that's like, it would still be intact today? People sell Bonnie Bell lip gloss from the 90s on eBay. I'm pretty sure we can means. find a marker. Lip smackers? I'm gonna go in search of a vintage Crayola burnt marshmallow marker and compare the two. While you're there, can you find me some of those phantom markers? I just want to put. <laughs> That's stain. Can you give me some of those stamper markers? <laughs> hey, Tweety, you know, so you stop. <laughs> You're so freaking cute. I love you. You're cute. You love you too. <laughs> you, you said, I love you too, too. Those are so cool. They were. But back to topic, Pier 1, <laughs> A+. Plus. That'd be the uh, place that I would say really kind of gets the, the crowning jewel of the stuff that we saw yesterday. And I will give an honorable mention to Target, because if their actual Halloween section is anything like I saw in the dollar spot yesterday, I am excited. But yeah, so I think that'll be it for that adventure that we had yesterday. I had a lot of fun. It was, it, like I said, it's always nice to just see when the season really starts, and it is late August, we know that, I mean, no one's really, no one's like at home where it's, you know, early July and they have that, it's very few places, so don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all those places, because we do post things outside of YouTube that kind of go along with the spooky things and just stuff we find pretty cool in general, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to us on here and hit the notification bell so you can see the next time we upload a video. We're trying to upload as many videos as possible to get as much content to you guys as we possibly can because we're having such a blast doing this. We definitely so are. It's, it's been fun. It was something that we were kind of nervous about at first, yeah. but it has become it's one sweet. of my favorite things to do every week. She was nervous about it. So. I was. And just the love that we get from our subscribers and the kind comments that we get from everybody just really makes us so much more enjoyable for us. It's exactly. not you know, just about, hey, look at us, we want to be famous. It's, hey, we want to share our lives, we want to share what we love with other people who love the same things that we do. Well, thanks again, guys. Until next time, I'm Sydney. And I'm Zach. And you've been watching the Midnight Jamboree. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.